course. That Good we to see the chat about. here is rooting for Yoda. I think you guys are in <laughs> luck. We are going to see a Yoda victory. I just have a strong, <laughs> mm. strong feeling about that. <laughs> Why does he have a Force Wave die on his Yoda card? Let's not... Uh, Let's not let's not think too hard about that. <laughs> uh, we are, however, seeing I mean, what frozen wastes for the Yoda Hondo player, and it's that what draw a card and gain a resource battlefield. Yeah. For the uh, the, y the Yoda Ray outer or Yoda rim Speed outpost. Is that what yes, it is? yes, I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry, cool my battlefields. <laughs> What'd you say? Cool C three PO art on the outer rim outposting. Yes. Yeah. And we've got our deck list. So okay. Yoda Hondo, yes, cutting, four speed, light bow. I think that looks to me like a fairly straightforward uh, special training deck here. Does have his hyperspace jump. Mm -hmm. Was second chance in the last deck, the last Yoda Hondo? I don't think so. I think that's a different inclusion. I don't think it was. There's two mm -hmm. second chances on both sides of this matchup. So wow. depending on who gets those <laughs> and, and if they get them out and it matters, this could definitely mm -hmm. drag this out a little bit. Uh, Sabine, yeah, she's got DL44, Hidden Blasters, X8 Night Snipers, Holdouts, all of those guns. Lovely, uh, lovely and of course, ambush weapons. also Hyperspace Jump. I feel like Hyperspace Jump maybe favors Sabine a little bit here. Mm. In, in terms of she can do the damage and then yeah. jump out if needed faster. Maybe. But Hondo maybe has the edge in paying for it. Right. Yeah. would we'll probably be extorting <coughs> a lot of money um, from the Sabine player. So I, I think with both decks being so fast, you might not see Hyperspace Jump played at all. Sure. Is, is it worth jumping if you know there are only one dial left to resolve? Right. Probably not. And we're going to see a lot of easy pickings and tangle, all those great yellow control cards. Mm -hmm. But there's some there's some tricks in here. I see I see a rebel, I see lone operative. You got some stuff that is you know maybe less common in a lot of the meta decks that we're seeing right now. Vandalize, it's nice. Uh, scruffy looking nerf herder. That's a more yeah recent sort of. Can you development remind me a uh, scruffy looking nerf herder? What does it do? Uh, it's the one uh, you choose. You get to choose one card type. Yeah, it's uh, event, support, or upgrade. And right. you can then look at their hand and discard one from their hand. That's right. I run yeah. it in a mill deck as a great way to deal with ancient mm -hmm. lightsabers or you know other cards that bounce back to the hand and make it hard or to the deck and make it hard to mill. Mm -hmm. um, but just a great targeted removal card if you're worried about control events and things like that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's another... <coughs> good meta call when you know the one thing that's your g biggest problem against your opponent, you can uh, target that zero in on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm using against a Sabine or something, you say event, looking for that never tell me the odds. If you yeah. suspect they're going to set up the big play mm -hmm. to wipe a character. Absolutely. So these guys are going to finish their mulligans here, and we will see what they are looking at for their opening hands. So Mateo on the... Right, and Jeremy on the left. Mateo has a four-speed light bow. The mischief is that the one that lets you resolve one die. It's got ambush. Right. Forget what it's called. Oh. It's not. Oh, it's impulse. Impulsive, impulsive yeah. not yeah. mischief. With Chewbacca, right? Yes. <laughs> oh. Hopefully you don't do that in the game. Well, yes. <laughs> not the role you want to see for control of battlefield, but a great role to have <laughs> in game. Look at that. Four and some special. cool little 3D printed yeah. shield tokens, it looks like, for Mateo. Hmm. Uh, I'm seeing, what, Maz's Vault first turn? That's not a bad card to have out for uh, Yoda and Sabine. Oh, yeah, that might help I'm uh, also help seeing is that Hondo and stay alive. Overconfidence. Running interference. Oh, yeah. Hasty exit. He does control the battlefield right now. Um, and another and Mateo Vault. has got... Impulsive, light bow, and yeah, a couple things I cannot quite see, but let's see uh, how their Yodas are going to compare. I think that Mateo's Yoda solidly wins that roll off. <laughs> yes. With four speed special, able to have a nice quick turn here if he wants. And Sabine, of course, doing Sabine things, not using her ability this first turn. Doesn't look like he has a weapon to uh, discard, to, to play. Never tell me, or excuse me, not never tell the odds. Running interference, of course, had a mm -hmm. change. Now, after it's used, it goes away, correct? Correct. 
So you're no longer to lock, no longer able to lock somebody out from turn after turn after turn. You've really got to save it for that most impactful turn. Which <clears throat> still a definitely a worthy inclusion in Sabine decks who uh, are really Absolutely. going for that. Yeah, one yeah turn in that one play. turn where you've got all the dice on the table, that's when you use it. Mm -hmm. And lock out their control. So that was a four-speed special into an activation of Hondo. And now he's showing and a special. he's going to go ahead and activate specials, surprising virtually nobody. <laughs> chaining in, getting a resource, and chaining to Yoda's other special. And now resolving that one. Chaining to Hondo's other Hondo's special. Other special. <laughs> and, and I'm assuming resolving the two Hondo specials next. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that's a safe bet. And no hyperspace jump in hand, so he can't just, you know, do this and then jump out. That would be pretty... Tough situation for Jeremy. Does he want scary. to pay or take the damage? And it looks like he's going to... Uh, to pay. He paid both of them. He paid for both. Man, that's a wow. lot of money on Mateo's side. We're going to see that light bow go down. We're going to see... Yeah, I mean, geez. Ooh. That's rough to lose two, to give away two resources like that on first round. Uh, absolutely. It, it's resources early are just so much more impactful. Mm -hmm. See, Maz's vault come down. He's going after the control here in, in uh, Jeremy's hand. Concentrate or overconfidence or hasty exit. He saves it a great card if you have fast tech, like both of these guys expect to be. Yeah. And in fact, it is not in both of them, though. This I'm also only seeing Vandalize here. in Mateo's deck, so Vandalize is going to give him a good push against, you know, a four speed or something like that on mm -hmm. the opposing Yoda. Yeah, I don't think you want to lose uh, all of your character dice to get rid of the light bow, but. It's definitely worth it to get rid of zero dice for the four speed. Certainly. Yeah. One resource, kill a four speed, I would do that in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Jeremy does not look to have that option in his deck. So we both get three resources. Yeah. Uh, Mate it's Mateus. Mateus. Not Mateo. Mateus dos Sanos. And that may even be pronounced a little bit different because I know Brazil is Portuguese and... I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> Thanks for the correction, chat. Yeah, it's got to feel bad for Jeremy not having a weapon on Sabine for that first activation. He does have a hidden blaster in his discard pile, so he's got it for next time. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, and that was probably a lot of why he uh, paid. Scruffy-looking nerf herder again. Wow. And he picks off the... Oh, they never told me the odds. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's some great, great control by Mateus there. Mm -hmm. Oh, special city. <laughs> wow. <Man. laughs> That's the jackpot. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> easy pickings. Never okay. a better time to use easy pickings, but geez. <laughs> Still too special. I think that's left. the right move. Taking the lipo, taking Yoda's die. Mm, yeah. That's Speed's the way to go. It's scary in those. once you take away the teeth. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. And then apparently, like this without upgrades, Yoda doesn't really do damage. And you see the same thing in a Yoda, Yoda Qui Gon deck, in a, in a Yoda Zeb deck. Mm -hmm. Yoda's a great enabler. Yeah. But without a lot of upgrades, he has a hard time closing games on his own. Yeah. He's amazing once you get like a Force Wave on him. And his special can chain right into Force Wave and pay for it. He can start doing some serious damage, but no damage, you know, by it on his base. Yeah, if you guys are wondering about the Hidden Blaster, it's just off to the side so that when he picks them out using Sabine's ability, it's just faster instead of shuffling right. through the whole discard pile. And right now, I do the same there's thing. no effect in, uh, that can matter what's on top of your discard pile. So mm -hmm. no real reason to keep them in the same order. Yeah, the... Discards Impulsive with order. Ambush, so he's got three actions still. Plays a Cunning. Oh, man. Just roll all specials again. <laughs> not going. Not going. <laughs> hey, the Disrupt's not wow. bad, though, when you've got Hondo. Yeah. Keep your opponent poor, yeah. make his specials hit. 
not a terrible roll for Hondo Onaka. Yeah, I would resolve one of those disrupts. I don't know. Do you do both? Just hit all three? Uh, I don't think so. He's thinking that's about it. Yeah. Yep. I think that's right. So all three. I would have gone to Hondo Special. So you either get damage or get rid of the last one. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that, that I feel like may be a little bit more impactful, but I suppose Whoa. you still can do that with the, uh, with the cunning. So you, you had a special and a cunning special into Hondo special, and you get best of all worlds. Yeah. No money and damage for sure. You don't have the possibility of getting paid yourself, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Mateus, putting all that cash he had to good use this round. <laughs> Now chance. resolving the discard. Yep. Oh, and it hits the second chance. That could be important. That, uh, yeah, that's that's a good good card to hit in that discard. Between taking his never tell me the odds, between like oh man, just a lot of a lot of good luck for Mateus. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm not taking anything away from his abilities as a player, but excellent luck with his rolls and with those cards he's he's hitting on discards. Mm -hmm. Might be his lucky day. <laughs> Another force speed. <laughs> so every card on Mateus' side of the table has a special. See, now I'm starting to think that there's a, enough of a speed advantage on Mateus' side that we might see those hyperspace jumps. With this many, uh, yeah, and with uh, Maz's vault out there making it easier to pay for. Yeah. <laughs> no reason not to. Getting a little bit more damage on Hondo, but Yoda can, with that light bow, he can do some decent damage. The thing that's really hurting Mateus, though, is Maz's vault and all the money that's flying around, he's just not getting the utility out of Hondo for damage at all. Mm. And, and right. it's tough to see a situation where he's really going to start to benefit from that. But yeah. also, on the plus side, Sabine is still unarmed. Yeah. <laughs> Which is insane here in the third round. <laughs> Look at all those specials. When Sabine's all about equipping ambush, so it's definitely hampering. I mean, uh, right Jeremy's there between here. between four speed and the Yoda, he can resolve most of his dice again in one go. Wow. I believe both these guys are two and O. Oh, so forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't have all the standings here in front of me. But they should. And yeah, Mateus does have a hyperspace jump just in case he needs to get out. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, the damage potential still on Jeremy's side of the board is just not that high. With five resources there, he's got more than enough cash to you know, play his turn and then jump away. Jeremy's got two four two speeds. Two four speeds as well. Hyperspace jump in hand, too. Wow. Speed is obviously very important. He's going to need meta. so Hondo could die to a Sabine, a Sabine, you know, roll in into roll. damage. Yeah, he doesn't even have to be that perfect. Hondo's only got four health left. Yeah, there's a lot of potential for Sabine to kill Hondo. See those Hondo specials normally here. so good, but he still had done zero damage over there. Yeah. It's he needs some better upgrades here to start doing some damage with. He's winning the resource race, but needs to liquidize here. <laughs> <laughs> Got second chance. Resolving Hondo specials. All right. Another Hondo special. <laughs> I'm assuming wow. play a second chance. Do you second chance and then jump out? <laughs> Does he still have two actions left? Maybe. I'll be honest, I have That's no clue. I there was a lot of a lot of action chaining and Many, 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 many dice. <laughs> They've all been special so far, though, and one of them was a uh, four speed. Oh, here we go. Impulsive to give him yet another action. All right. <laughs> 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 and what did he so resolve he, the cunning for? 
Uh, Hondo. So he did damage. Oh, yep. There's now six damage on Sabine. Nice. Yeah, I feel I had to think second chance or jumping out if he's got it, which I think he does, was better. Because if he rolls the damage here, Hondo's just dead. What was the uh, hidden? Oh, the hidden blaster was a disrupt. See, yep. Mateus got lucky there again. Yeah, he got very lucky there to Hondo not lose Hondo. Have been dead. Oh, he does have second chance on Hondo. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, okay. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> and then there's the jump as expected to just end that and continue on. Yeah. See, he did. Take your advice. Uh, Cunning was the lipo special. Mm, okay. I mean, I guess it's three damage either way because Jerry right. didn't have any money. Didn't have any and didn't have any shields to hit either. Yeah. Yeah, we can only barely hear the players, guys. So sometimes it's a little hard to follow, especially if we happen to be talking when they are. So I do apologize if we are less than perfect. <laughs> he's discarding hyperspace jump. He knows he's not going to really get the utility out of it. Yeah. Not the way Your Mateus is rolling. Is so fast. And so we got six damage on Sabine, nine on Honda, but with a second chance there. Two four speeds down on both sides of the table. Crazy. <laughs> the number of turns in these rounds is hey, there you go, four actions in a row. Small. That'll do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Second action will really turn into third, fourth, fifth, and sixth action. Yeah. That's nice. And then I have another action, so that's my action. Yeah, I mean, you've got multiple chances to re-roll into a Yoda. Mm -hmm. He's just thinking through. It's the best way to do this. It's got a lot of ambush guns in there. No. We could easy pickings the four speeds. I don't know if that's worth it at this point. You know what? I'm not going to go ahead and replace. I'm going to just discard the hit to reroll no dice. So you get your shield back. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. So he was going to overwrite, and he hmm. neglected to. Going to just play it from his discard pile to have two guns next turn, First, I'm assuming. Right. And we'll bring out... We have three actions remaining here. He wants to save his resources, I'm assuming. Ooh. Do you get tempted to resolve that three discard? Because you know he's got something good. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he's keeping one, though. So two actions remaining. Two Yoda specials on the board. So one action remaining. And that is Sabine. Dead Sabine. Done wow. for by the lipo special twice. Yeah, it's Thanks, man. Oh, he and calls Jeremy it. going to well just from. concede there because yeah. a very very fast Yoda with no weapons versus those guys unlikely to be enough to pull it out. That was uh, yeah. You can't, that was can't blame him for that. Special Palooza there <laughs> on Mateus' side of the table. I cannot mm -hmm. believe how many specials he rolled. <laughs> that is that is a a masterclass in special chaining and just how <laughs> good it can be when you really capitalize on it. And it that was a, a fast swing from having no damage on Jeremy's side of the board to a dead Sabine. Yes. Um, yeah. With cunning and the ability to trigger lipo special repeatedly, just. Just brutal. Mm -hmm. Just brutal. I don't really see anything that Jeremy could do in the face of that many specials being rolled. And in this fast of a meta, we're, we're seeing this a lot. Uh, those big little decks like that with the, the 20 point Sabine yes. and the 10 point Yoda have uh, suffered a lot. Because once somebody blows out your Sabine, yep. you have very little left to stand on. Yeah, and that's, that's a problem you see. Uh, you can see that with Obi Maz. You can mm -hmm. see that with uh, with a lot of these characters now, where you're relying on one to do your damage. If you lose them, you can be in serious, serious trouble. Unless, like uh, Talzin, Thrawn, they have the plan of all these weapons redeploy, so so you have some sort of mitigation. Or you know, in right. this case, you see uh, 
Mateus putting the light bow on Yoda because he knows mm -hmm. they're going to go for Hondo first. Let's just keep those upgrades in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you who missed what was happening, that was a win by Mateus Dos Anos from Brazil over Jeremy Shufflebarger of the United States.